hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have m over 6 is equals to m and you see here the exponent of both of these sides of m is 1 it means that this is the linear equation uh, so it means that in this question we solve the linear problem so now here in this question we solve this problem for two methods and i hope so you like both of these methods so now here in first method uh, we need to multiplying we need to first remove this fraction from left hand side for this we will multiplying both of the sides by 6 so when we multiply both of the sides by 6 this will be written as 6 multiplied by m over 6 is equals to 6 multiplied by m so you see here this 6 and this 6 are gone and we will get here m is equals to this is 6 times of m and 6 times of m becomes here 6m and now for the values of m we move this m to the right hand side so this is positive m when we move in the right hand side it will becomes negative m and this whole equation is equals to 0 and you see here 6m minus m is equals to 5m and this whole equation is equals to 0 <coughs> so because we solve this problem for the values of m uh, that's why we need to divide both of the sides by m because we eliminate this m from left hand side and you see here <coughs> this m and this m are gone and we will get here our m is equals to we know that 0 over something is equals to 0 so this uh, expression always gives us the answer is 0 whatever its denominator okay so this is the our final answer of this problem uh, which we get here from first method and now we move forward uh, to the second method uh, and now here in second method uh, we again copy down given question statement here so given question statement is m over 6 is equals to m this is the our given question statement and now uh, here in the second method we first uh, move uh, the variable terms in the left hand side so that's why we will move this m in the left hand side and it will be written as m over 6 minus m is equals to 0 and now in the second method we uh, need to take the LCM of this term and you see here the denominator of this term is 1 and now here first we need to uh, make the denominator of both of these terms are same so in order to make the denominator of this term is 6 uh, we need to multiply and divide of this term by 6 and it will be written as 6 times of m divided by 6 times of 1 and this whole equation equals to 0 and here we easily take the LCM of this term and its LCM becomes here 6 so you see here this 6 is cancelled out by this 6 and we will get here m minus this 6 is also cancelled out by this 6 and we will get here 6m and this whole equation equals to 0 and you see here m minus 6m is equals to minus 5m divided by 6 and this whole equation equals to 0 and here we move the 6 to the right hand side and it will becomes minus 5m is equals to 0 multiplied by 6 so 0 times of 6 is equals to 0 and in order to remove this minus m we need to divide both of the sides by minus m in this form and you see here this minus m and this minus m are gone and we will get here m is equals to 0 over minus m becomes here 0 so this is the final answer of this problem which we get here from both of these methods we get the same answer that is m is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to verify this value of m and here we check that is this value of m is satisfied our given question statement or not so for this we first copy down given question statement here it is m over 6 is equals to m and the value of m which we get here is m equals to 0 so now we put this value of m into the uh, both of the 
so that we put this value of m on both of the sides of the above equation and it will be written as uh, this is 0 over 6 is equals to 0 we can just put 0 wherever is m is lies here so we know that uh, 0 over something is equals to 0 so you see here this 0 is equals to this 0 and this shows that the value of <coughs> m equals to 0 is satisfied over this uh, given question statement <coughs> so this shows that m equals to 0 be the only one solution of the given equation and I hope so you like both of these methods uh, but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.